Hi, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. Thank you for choosing to spend some time with me. This is going to be a watch me video, a very quick one, but I wanted to continue to show as I explore jasmineite resin. If you want to know a little bit more detail about what that is, check my tutorial a little bit earlier. I will do some more tutorials, but I tend to keep these one fairly short. I just love working with this medium. You get instant gratification because within 20 minutes, it's cured, you just wait for it to heat up, cool down, and then you can reveal them. Anyhow, I'm choosing to work with greens, golds, and keep a little bit of white in there, and I'm testing these silicone succulent plant pots, which are really good quality to work with. And I'm using the Resinate Jesmonite pigments because they're a lot stronger to work with this very thick, opaque jesmonite. Now this mold does deliver beautiful results, but what I have noticed is where I've applied that gold, when you remove your mold from it, you can see the markings, it's like a little rough area. But if you're gonna be standing your succulent pants in, plants, not pants, in there, you're gonna have a little bit of the soil in there or gravel, whichever way you would put your succulents in there. So it's not really a biggie. But I just wanted to explore different effects I can get and patterns with jesmonite. I really enjoy the end result. It came out looking like this green landscape and the gold made it look like it was summer and you know yellow flowers and sun. But I think that's just where my imagination goes. But I'd love to know what you say. What I really enjoy about creating with jesmonite, other than the instant gratification and how it looks and feels, is the ability to go in there and sculpt and it holds sort of the ring pores you do or the marble effect, whatever word you want to do, it more or less sets how you see it. And there's not a lot of movement after that. And that I think is something that I'm enjoying exploring, especially because I can't do acrylic fluid art. It scares me. I can do resin. I can paint my oils. I can do charcoal. Uh, but you tell me that I'm going to do some acrylic pouring and I am scared. Whereas this, I believe, is giving me the opportunity to play in a field that I'm fairly used to, which is resin, although this is not epoxy resin. But which gives you the feeling of if you're doing a ring pull, but it holds what you're trying to do. Anyway, I'm Sharon. I'm digressing. I'm going to leave you to a little bit of music. There's not really much more commentary that's needed. Uh, let me know if you still enjoy seeing me explore Jesmonite, even if it's not necessarily easy for you to get in your country. Maybe it still inspires you to try some of the molds because you can still use them for resin. But I'll see you on the next video, wherever you are. Keep creating and keep safe. Bye bye.
So here we are to review these little cuties. Now these have all been sealed. But I love how these remind me of a landscape. Now I don't know if that's just a trick with your mind because they are green. It's got yellow and green in there and white and a little bit of that gold dusting. And some of the patterns that you see in there are just beautiful. A little bit of that gold coming through. Jesmite. Jesmonite, thank you so much for coming into my world. Look at this one, slightly different shape. But again, some spectacular little details in there. And again, it reminds me of the countryside. I can see like rolling hills, skies, mountains, even though it's all one colour. Well, three colours really. What for? Yellow, gold, green, white. Uh, but just love it. Love that um, face as well. Anyway, thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. Remember to join my Facebook group if you want to showcase your art and visit my Etsy store should you want to purchase any of my treasures. But other than that, keep safe, keep coming back and visiting me and thank you so much for your support.